ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. Juan Guaido. He is the interim president of Venezuela. In one of his speeches lately, quoted one of his teachers, Luis Ugalde, who is a Catholic priest, was the rector of the Catholic University in Venezuela and an intellectual of the first order, who taught the following. He said to his students, why is it that the Indian dance asking for rain always produces rain? Well, there were many answers that students gave. One said that uh, he must have some extraordinary powers, magical powers. Maybe we don't know everything about it. Maybe he had some kind of weather information beforehand and he knew that in two days it was going to rain. So this dance was really staged in order to show that the Indian can produce rain. You know what Ugalde said? You know why their dances produced rain? Because they didn't stop dancing until rain fell. That is the lesson. You have to be constant. You know, we have already mentioned this, there's a book called The Outliers, where the story of many very accomplished individuals is told of great sportsmen, of great violinists. It's constant, so you have to be constant in whatever you do. You can't give up. How many businesses, how many industries fail, but then people who are intelligent are persistent. If they think that they have the right idea, they will continue with it. They don't give up. And this is a very important lesson that we have to learn. You go to Europe, for instance, and you can see buildings that are hundreds of years old, and they are renovated constantly. They all have internet, they have Wi-Fi. Even though when they were built, no one knew that these things existed. There was no running water either in some of these places, and yet they're able to adapt them because they're persistent. They don't give up. I know of many Hasidic movements that are very clear in their goals, and they are very committed to what the aim is because they have tremendous belief. In other words, you can be persistent if you really believe in what you're doing. If you think that what you're doing has merit, then you won't give up. Why do we give up? I think because we are not sure that we're going in the right direction. We doubt whether what we are doing will eventually result in what we are going to accomplish. You know, in order to be a salesman, you want to sell toothpaste, you have to believe, really believe that toothpaste is good. If you yourself don't believe in the value of the product that you're trying to sell, you will never be able to sell it because people will realize you are doing it only because you need a job or you're trying to fool people. That's why many a time nowadays, when we watch the news, we read the newspapers, and we watch television, sometimes we feel maybe what they're telling us is not so, and that they themselves don't believe in it. So I want to tell you, once again, you know why the Indian dance produced rain, because the people that danced and asked for rain believed that their dancing will produce rain, and they never stopped until rain came. So I, maybe we can learn from that. If you are very clear on what you're going to do, and you know exactly, you believe in what you're going to do, persist. If you're constant, eventually you're going to succeed in what you do.